Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging question from algebraic simplification. One equation is known to us x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to 123. Then we have to simplify this expression. So let's get started by considering expression equal to e and I will begin with the given equation. Right hand side if you will notice it is positive. So x cannot be negative for sure. So we will conclude from this conclusion that x must be greater than 0. Now I will consider our expression for which we will simplify. So let me write here numerator first. So I will be writing e equal to x power 11 minus x power 9. Then I can write 1 over x power 9 minus 1 over x power 11 numerator denominator x power 10 minus x power 8 plus 1 over x power 8 minus 1 over x power 10. Now I will write expression E equal to from first two terms. I can take x part 10 common. So in bracket I can write x minus 1 over x. From next two terms we can consider 1 over x part 10 common. So in the bracket I can write x minus 1 by x. Come to denominator. I will take x part 9 common. So in bracket it will be x minus 1 by x and then I will write 1 over x power 9 common. Then in bracket it would be again x minus 1 over x. Now you can see I will take x minus 1 over x common from the numerator as well as in the denominator. So I will be having x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 in the numerator. And I will be having x minus 1 by x common in the denominator. And the second factor which I will write x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. Now we can cancel these two brackets. So conclusion is the required the given expression which we have to simplify. It is nothing but x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 divided by x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. This we have to simplify. Let's simplify numerator and denominator separately. So let me write here e equal to numerator over denominator. Numerator is x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 and denominator is x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. Let me write here numerator. x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10. Okay. So I will consider x plus 1 over x. See what is given to us. x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to 123. Let us take a square of this equation equal to 123. So I will consider squaring both sides a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 2 will be left x power 5 times 1 over x power 5 it will be 1 123 square. So from here our numerator is clear x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 this will be equal to 123 square minus 2. Let us write this value also 123 square is 15,129 minus 2. So numerator is 15,127. This is our numerator. Now come to denominator. What we are targeting 
to find out denominator it is x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. Now I will consider x plus 1 over x. Suppose this is equal to a. Let. So from here I can conclude is squaring. So I will be writing x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to a square. So let me write here a square minus 2 after squaring both sides. Now I will take cube of this equation. So I can write, let me write here cubing. So I will be writing a cube plus b cube plus 3ab, so 3 only, a plus b, so a, so 3a, it will go to the right side, a cube minus 3a. Now target is to find out x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. So we, we have to consider the cubing of this, but a is unknown. So first we have to evaluate the value of a, how it would be. I will take the product of these two x square plus 1 over x square times x cube plus 1 over x cube equal to a square minus 2 times a cube minus 3a. Let's multiply. So x square with x cube. So I will be writing x power 5. 1 over x square with 1 over x cube. So I will have 1 over x power 5. Now cross multiplication. x square with 1 over x cube. So 1 by x. And 1 over x square with x cube. So x. If I will take the product here. I will be writing a power 5. Minus 3a cube. Minus 2a cube. So minus 5a cube. Minus 2 times minus 3a plus 6a. And here I will put a. So take this a to the RHS. This, this will give us one quintic equation. And x power 5, let me write here. x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 plus x plus 1 by x equal to right hand side it would be a power 5 minus 5a cube plus 6a. So here I will put a. So I can write x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. It is equal to a power 5 minus 5a cube 6a minus a plus 5a. Now let's put the value of x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. This value I can write 123. So our quintic will become a power 5 minus 5a cube plus 5a equal to 123 or minus 123 equal to 0. Now we can use rational root theorem method, synthetic division method. So let me write the eligible factors of 123. So we can write plus minus 1, plus minus 3 and plus minus 41 only. 41 is prime number and leading coefficient you can see here it is only plus minus 1. Let us put a equal to 3. 1 won't satisfy as you can see minus 123. So let me put a equal to 3. So I will be writing 3 power 5 minus 5 times 3 cube. So 27 plus 15 minus 123. Now I can write the value of 3 power 5. So 81 times 3, 243 minus 135. Then I will be writing plus 15. Then I will be writing minus 123. So it is 243 plus 15, 258 and 135, 123, it will be 258 again. That means 
a equal to 3 is our base solution. So we will consider this as a base solution. Now let us find out the remaining factors, remaining solution of this quintic equation. So I will use synthetic division method now. So let us write all the coefficients of quintic equation first. Let me write here a equal to 3 base solution. All the coefficients of quintic equation. So 1, 0, power 4 is not there. Then negative 5, again 0, 5 and negative 123. Now I will put one line leading coefficient or multiplier as it is 1. Now multiply 3 times 1. So 3, 3, 9, 4, 12, 12, 36, 41, 123, 0. Now I can write one quartic equation in A. Coefficients are 1, 3, 4, 12, 41. So A power 4 plus 3A cube plus 4 a square plus 12a plus 41 equal to 0. Now if you remember what was our substitution a? a was x plus 1 over x. This was a. One condition was there. x cannot be negative. It should be only positive. So once x is positive, a will be always positive. And if you will see all multipliers or the coefficients. Let me write all coefficients of this equations are positive. So we can conclude A won't be positive possible. So we will cancel or reject this quartic equation as solution of this equation will be negative. Solution of equation will be negative. So we will reject, rejected this quartic. So which solution we will accept? It is a equal to 3. Let me write a equal to 3. So let me find out quick values. So I will be writing x plus 1 over x equal to 3. If I will write x square plus 1 over x square, then it is equal to a square minus 2. So let me write 3 square minus 2. So 7. If I, I will write x cube plus 1 over x cube. So I will write x cube plus 1 over x cube a cube minus 3a. So 3 cube minus 3a so 9. So 27 minus 9 18. Now I have to find out my denominator. Denominator was x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9. So I will consider cubing of this equation. Simple. So let me write here x cube plus 1 over x cube equal to 18. Let's take cube. So let me write here cubing both sides. So I will be writing x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9 plus 3 times a b so it will be 1 in bracket a plus b so 18 and right hand side it is 18 cube so our denominator is x power 9 plus 1 over x power 9 it is equal to 18 cube minus 3 times 18 54 now if you will check this value, this is 5832 minus 54. I am writing 5778. And this is our denominator. So we can write our answer. Now expression E equal to numerator over denominator. Numerator was 15127. And denominator is which we have calculated 5778. And if you will check, there is no common factor. So we will write this is my answer. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.
and take care of yourself bye bye